Greetings everybody, welcome back to the Austin Lindsay channel. A friend of mine was asking me how to do a letterbox effects and I thought I would just record it and share it with you guys in case any of you guys are interested. So here's the best way I know how to do it in Premiere. So let's say this lovely image of coconuts is the image you want to reveal to or the footage you want to reveal to. So what I do is I go up here, make sure my essential graphics is checked. It'll probably show up on the right side, but I move mine into the middle area here so I have everything kind of contained where I want it. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to also come over here and make sure I have my safe margins available. If you don't see them, you can go into the button editor here, find it right here and drag it down, down here and hit OK. And then you can turn that on and off. This will allow you to tell what is centered by this little notch right here. Then I hit Command T to add some text, or add a text layer basically. But you don't need the text, so go into your essential graphics, click on the text layer and hit delete. And then what we're going to do is come over here to this little icon and add a new rectangle. So I want my screen to start out black and reveal the coconut image. So I'm going to go over here to fill, make sure it's black. Come over here and drag this point off the canvas. And same thing with the right side. Also, I'm going to drag the top off of the canvas. And we're good to go. And then what I'm going to do is come over here to this parameter. And I'm going to drag up. And then align that to the notch right there. Then what I'm going to do is name this top. And I'm going to right click and duplicate. Name this other one bottom. And then come back over here to this parameter and drag all the way down so that this blue line matches up with that center notch. It doesn't have to be exact, exact. It just has to cover up the image and be close to center. All right, so now we've got these things set. What we're going to do is keep this clip selected. We're going to go over to Effects Controls, and we're going to see Shapes, top and bottom. We're going to twirl these both down, and then we're going to go over to the Position keyframe and hit the stopwatch for both, down here for the bottom one. And then you'll see it makes a couple of keyframes right here at the start. And uh, a good thing to do, I didn't do this before, is just drag over to the beginning of the clip and then start your keyframes. So because I didn't do that, I'm going to select and drag and then select those two and then drag those to the start of the clip. Then we're going to go to wherever we want the footage to be fully revealed. Let's say it's about right here. And then I'm going to take, we'll start with the top here. We're going to drag that one up all the way off the canvas and then we're going to drag this one down all the way off the canvas and now you can see there's two keyframes right over here we can go back to the start we can hit play and we'll see that they've opened up so the last little tidbit of information so the last little helpful tip is I'm going to So the last little helpful tip is I'm going to select and so the last little helpful tip is I'm going to drag and select these two ending keyframes, right click and go to temporal interpolation, and I'm going to hit ease in. And what this will do is ease into the ending of the movement. If that makes sense? It's kind of a little backwards. I'm going to go over here and do something similar. Select and drag these two, right click, go to ease out. And this eases out of rest. So I'm going to right click and go to temporal interpolation and go to ease out. What this does is ease out from rest. And what this does, you may not notice it if you're kind of a newbie, but 
And what this does is that you may not notice it too much, but your brain kind of, and what this does is it eases in the movement. So it makes them a little bit smoother on the beginning and ending of your transitions. So that's just kind of a helpful tip. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.